first off, uh, if, if meat is sold in commerce, it has to be inspected by our USDA Food Safety Inspection Service. So all the meat is inspected. But when it arrives at the store, if they repackage that, it may not have that on the bag. It doesn't have to, or on the package. It doesn't have to, but it may have it there. If these cuts like this that are vacuum packaged came into the store and are going to be sold whole as a subprimal, as these would be, then there are several things that appear on the bag here that you can, you can certainly recognize. One is a little round insignia on here. This one happens to be Establishment 86E, which tells me this was inspected and passed at the plant that has everything that comes from that plant numbered as 86E. Besides the inspection insignia that just ensures that we know this has been inspected, there are several other things on the bag. First off, there's a grade stamp on here. And so this one says this is a USDA select. So we did, so you do have select, above select, you would have choice and prime. Uh, usually if, it, if a cut is below select and grade, it may not have, it may be ungraded in the store. But select is pretty much a standard for a lot of retailers and a lot of the product that we're gonna see. And choice and select, uh, both are at retail, uh, you see those at different times, but uh, usually they'll be identified by, that, by some kind of label on the package, or in this case on the vacuum bag. Also on there is the name of the company, and there's some other things on here. Because this is sold at retail whole, this has a safe handling label on it as well, which talks about that you need to wash your hands and that we keep the product cold and all the things that go into making sure this is safe to eat.